Hey everybody, Timur here from Gluten Free Crumbly. This weekend I'm super excited to let you know that I'm hosting the Warming Trends event with the Sunday Supper Movement. And it's going to be full of all sorts of recipes that not only warm up your body, but really warm up the soul and really make you feel like it's you're under a nice warm blanket in the middle of winter, because we know that crap's coming. I may have lucked out this past week with some mid-70s weather, but shoot, it has been pretty cold this morning. So let's go ahead and delve into my hot spiked apple cider recipe, which is not only gluten-free, but super easy to make. So what you'll need to make this hot spiked apple cider will be a gallon of apple cider. Hey guys, editing TR here. I actually meant half a gallon of apple cider rather than a full gallon. Also, couldn't I have picked a way better moment in my video to freeze on rather than this attractive image? Eh, well, whatever. Back to the video. Four cinnamon sticks, plus some for garnish if you want to look super fancy when you're serving it. A third cup of allspice, and I like to get the full seed allspice rather than the already pre-ground kind. Third cup of cloves, same thing, I prefer using whole cloves, it's a lot easier to steep the apple cider than by using a ground cloves. I mean, if you want to make it for the kids, leave this out, obviously, but if you want to make your entire insides feel all nice and warm, add half a cup of dark rum. And you'll also need an orange. So in addition to the ingredients, you'll also want to have some tea bags or spice bags and either a large pot or a crock pot if you have that handy. The first thing we're going to do is pretty simple. We are just going to add our apple cider into the pot and try to hide your complete stress and anxiousness about making sure you don't spill it everywhere. Oh god, stop it. We're good. The next thing you'll want to do is that you'll want to take four of your cinnamon sticks and place them into one of the spice bags. Tie it up and add it in. Rinse and repeat with your third cup of allspice. And your third cup of cloves. And then measure off half a cup of your dark rum. Oops, oops. Add it into your cider. And the next thing we're going to carefully do is just slowly cut the peel off of the orange. And I know I was kind of half broken with that sentence. I was focusing on not cutting my hand off in the process of it. But you don't want any of the fruit. You really just want that nice, beautiful orange peel. And you want to add that right into the cider. So now I've put a lid on my pot. If you are using a crock pot, you'll just want to put it on low and let it warm up over the course of about an hour or two before any kind of party that you're serving this at. And if you're doing it in a large part let pot like I'm doing, you want to do the same thing. You want to put it on your stovetop over a low, medium low heat for about two hours before the party so that it gets all nice and warm and all the spices get to mull all throughout the cider. My cider has been just sitting on the stove on a low heat for about an hour and now it just smells amazing. It's got this wonderful blend of the allspice and the cinnamon and it's ready to serve. So I'm just taking a small ladle and I'm pouring it into these fun little glasses. I can't quite remember where I got them from. I got a set of four that looked like this. But I have gotten my cider out into one of my glasses. And if you want to add just a little bit of a clean presentation, take one of your cinnamon sticks and just serve it on the edge of the glass. And it just adds a little bit of flair to the presentation. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Please go over to the blog to see the full recipe along with all of the other amazing warming trends recipes created by everybody else on the Sunday Supper Movement group. And if you are watching this today, that, that the day that the video came out, please join us on Twitter using the hashtag Sunday Supper at 7 p.m. Eastern Time to join in on our Warming Trends Twitter chat. As always, you can find me over at my blog on Gluten Free Crumbly, or you can also find me here on my YouTube channel normally every Wednesday and Friday for a Food Tip Wednesday and a Geek Geek. Geek, 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 geek
And uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to my channel and leave any comments below for any kind of recipes, Geek Food Fridays, or food tips you'd like to see and I will be sure to incorporate them into future uh, YouTube videos. So I will see you guys later and have a good weekend. Bye!